Hi and welcome to another edition of Mike Finds Things where I go out and find cool old records mostly at estate sales and thrift stores. Occasionally I'll pick up a record lot. Not a record lot this week. I did hit a couple of estate sales and then I've uh, got uh, I think four LPs uh, from that local thrift store I like uh, that, that I've found stuff in the past. Which I went to yesterday and found nothing. But uh, I did find stuff previously there. So I do check back there when I'm in the area. Um, we got, uh, I did the Louis Prima video, which posted on Monday. Uh, it kind of went nowhere, so, but a lot, a lot of, com we got more comments on that than most videos, which is weird, but uh, not a lot of people watched it. So if you like Louis Prima, do check that video out. I decided, well, since uh, I better just throw up another record video, do what I found this week so far. Unfortunately, I did, I, none of the sale, there was hardly any sales uh, Thursday, Friday last week. There was one sale that I went to not too far from here where I did find some great, uh, 45s um, and then on Sunday I was able to hit a sale for the uh, second day uh, where I picked up a couple great 78s and I've got uh, four LPs from a thrift store so that's what I have this week uh, also make sure you are subscribed to the channel and you like the video I'm still trying to get to that magical 1000 subscriber mark uh, so we can get a little bit of the, of the money that for the ads that YouTube is showing to you anyway let's face it um, and uh, so that would be great so make sure you like the video and uh, what's weird is this video is going to post before other videos that I already shot before. So it's just kind of weird, including uh, another going into the old section of the uh, of the channel, of, the, of my collection, I should say. All right, I'm all messed up today. So we're going to go right into the 45s. This is a sale I saw on, on there, and there was pictures, and you can see the stack of 45s, and I can see the ones on top were like minor label stuff. So I said, okay, I'll take a chance. I'll head out to this one. I got in there. When they opened, went through the 45s. I had no cell reception, so I was able not able to look anything up. So I was literally flying blind on a lot of these, uh, the ones I don't didn't know. But I still did really well, as you'll see. So let's go into this one. Uh, from 1961, we got a doo-wop. I do find this one every once in a while, but usually not this clean. Lover's Island, the Blue Jays on Milestone. Uh, fairly common record, not not a high value, just a good doo-wopper to find, especially in that condition. So we'll put that one away. We're going to go through these. I'm at, my kid's actually getting ready. I still got to drive her to school. So this is like, <laughs> this is like 7 o'clock in the morning I'm filming this. Uh, here's a uh, promo. Discogs listed as blues. I played it. It's more like a rock and roll rockabilly with a blues influence is my notes. Uh, 18 wants one have on Discogs. Could not find a sold comp on it, which is usually a good sign. So I might have to dig a little deeper there. Doug Hansen, Sweet Linda Lee on door. And a cool rocker, uh, and goodbye, Doug Hansen. This is a promo. Well, these are promo copies. Uh, like I said, these uh, I've said before, I'm in LA, so there's a lot of record companies here, uh, a lot of record and radios here, so a lot of the stuff was floating around. Um, a lot of people, new people who worked at record companies or radio stations, and they got given the stuff, uh, these records that didn't go anywhere. And of course, years later, that's what we're looking for, mostly stuff that didn't go anywhere that probably should have. Uh, from 57, we got a Rockabilly. Uh, I think this is the most valuable record uh, in this video. A low of 19, a mid of $152, and a high of $201. And it's got the original coral sleeve as well. Uh, this one is a promo. I mean, it's a blue label. It is a promo. It does say not for sale sample copy. Uh, no Sweat Baby Dav Kip. It is a super clean copy. So hold that one for a minute so you can see what it is. Um, and on the B side, we've got Yeah, My Baby Loves Me. So a rockabilly that people are after. We found great rockabilly in the past. Um, last a couple of years ago, I took some to a, to, a, to a car show where they had rockabilly stuff, and I uh, wound up selling a couple of my rockabillies. I usually like to sell stuff unless I really have to, or if somebody really did it for their collection sometimes, but... Uh, 1961 rock and roll record, low of 9, mid of 12, high of 15. Uh, Johnny Jack, another one on door, another promo. A wonderful World of Love. This has a much lower value, obviously. And A Love of My Own. So, we got parrots today, so if you're wondering. I wanted to do this early before construction or gardening goes on. <laughs> if you've watched any of my videos... It gets crazy, and tomorrow's trash day, so the trash truck sometimes runs through when, I, when I'm when i filming. 
Uh, so I said, let's do it today. Um, I got the Castells, the 62 Duop promo. Low value, seven bucks. Like I said, I was flying blind on all this stuff. I've seen the Castells before. Echoes in the Night on Era. It was minty. I snagged it. And uh, only one is the other side on that record. So it's, it's, these videos generally give you guys a good idea of what to look out for uh, in the wild. I realize uh, a lot of people live in other areas, so they're going to find different labels, uh, different record companies, different types of music. But in Southern California, we 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 were the we were surf music pretty much started and was big out here. So from '63, I got a surf record, another one on Door. Uh, I don't think it's this, this one's not a promo. I found somebody. I couldn't find any sold comps. I found one guy asking 40 bucks for one, and somebody in the UK is asking 83 British pounds for one. Buddy in the Beach Tones, Summertime in Venice. So that'll go in the uh, surf collection. And the other side is Little Orphan Boy. So with a name like Buddy in the Beach Tones, I was pretty sure it was a surf record and not one I'd run across before. So snag that one and it's it's actually got a little bit of a value here's one i uh, grabbed uh, like i said i was flying blind here i couldn't look stuff up uh 62 folk promo it's only worth 550 which folk usually doesn't have a high value i'm sure there's exceptions and someone's going to note that but uh generally people aren't really looking for folk records that much uh the white rose of athens nana muscari on riverside so so when it's mixed in with a bunch of rockabilly and surf, I'm going to probably take a chance. And I did, and audio on that one. It's the uh, B-side. I think there's a video of that one on uh, YouTube. A lot of these you can look up on YouTube and hear the song if they're not on... on if they're so obscure that they're not on uh, iTunes or, or Spotify or one of those. Here's a surf promo from 62... And uh, this one's the Sentinels Tortula with the original uh, era sleeve and Latinia. Latinia. So I looked at this group was a low of, low of 23, mid of 54, high of 75 on this one. So it's definitely got a good value and it is a promo. Um, and you can see the record is, it looks like it's barely been played. All these look like they'd barely been played or if they were played at all. Um, so another cool one for the surf box. Here's one for, here's a rockabilly, uh, a little bit of value on this one. From 58, low of 33, mid of 37, high of 40. Uh, on Guild Records, we have Jan Davis, and She Told Me is the A side. In fact, it says A on it. I think you gotta watch on Discog. Sometimes it'll say whatever the, it says is the A side is actually the B side, so you have to be really careful. It really goes by whoever entered the record first. Or they'll just put one side of the record and don't list the other side. I've seen that as well. Destination Love. So kind of a cool minor label rockabilly from 58 with a little bit of a value. Here's a soul record. I put, it says oh, it was listed as soul on, uh, on Discogs. Uh, the A side is kind of teen and then the B side is more of like a Christian song. Uh, Al Anthony on Alla Records, uh, low of three, mid of five, high of seven, so not really worth much. My Heart Needs You. And then, uh, it gets, it gets, uh, the seventh day is obviously the, uh, religious Christian side. So, not a huge value. It was listed as soul, it is not a soul record <laughs> by any stretch of the imagination. Um, I, I really hate it when Discogs has it wrong and then no one ever goes back and fixes it. So I've, I've run into cry. As you know, I found a record, uh, that Whistling Jack, which I'd never heard of, which I guess he was pretty big in the UK. And it was listed as a psych album, and I get home, it is not a psych album. So, um, here's a Christmas record. <laughs> or one, I think one side is Christmas. Uh, 1961. Uh, couldn't find any sold comps. Someone's asking 30, uh, hi, uh, and then somebody else is asking 33 for one of these. The book ends with Christmas Kisses on Capitol. Another pretty minty one. Let me walk with you. So we got that one. Another one, uh, this is a surf promo. Uh, both sides are the same. And this one, it was easy to tell it was a surf because it's on Downey Records, which did a lot of surf stuff. 
Uh, low of 25, mid of 32, high of 35. And it is pretty clean. Uh, it is made in Japan. The that's the name of the song. The by the Nylons and uh, being a promo, it's the same on both sides. So they did that so the DJ didn't accidentally play the B side and mess things up for them. On Downey Records, which we find uh, we found a lot of surf. I found other surf stuff on on Downey over the years. I think there's even one time I found a surf compilation on CD of all like uh, just stuff that was on Downey a while back. Um, this is a 58. Okay, I took the one I took a chance on. Doesn't really have a, much of a value from 58. This is a break. One of those breaking records where they like you know they play a snippet of a popular song and then they tell a story. Similar. If you know Buchanan Goodman, you know what it is. It does have an original uh, type sleeve. Arch Records, uh, the trial, the Legal Eagles. I don't think these usually don't have much of a value. Um, this one's not associated with. Uh, uh, oh, that's interesting. It's uh, Lou Adler and I think Herb Alpert did the other side. Kiss me. According to that, if that's if that's who they are, the last names. <laughs> so, kind of interesting. Oh, both sides. So I need to research that further. Oops. <laughs> I just realized that you know, sometimes you find stuff if, if that's if that's the right Alpert and the right Adler. So you know, just leave it in the comments. I'll probably forget to look it up later. I'll be honest. But I found stuff like that. We found one once. It was like uh, that one that Barry White, that Northern Soul record that we found a few months back uh, that Barry White wrote uh, and produced. Sometimes you find that you find stuff you know from earlier on that they did silly stuff sometimes latin pop from uh 1958 low three mid of 550 high of eight though i took chances on bud and travis raspberries strawberries so i was flying blind here a <laughs> mexican wedding dance so Sometimes you just start seeing minor labels, you know some of it's surf, you know some of it's rockabilly, you just start taking chances when you don't have a... Uh... So that one on Arch Records, uh, When Love Lets You Down, The Tempos. And this one I have no notes on, which means it probably didn't... I probably either didn't find anything or didn't have much of a value. And they were... Arch, the Arch Records was at 1606 Argyle in Hollywood. And here I go, The Tempos. So it was actually in Hollywood. It's a lot of different labels there. Obviously, obviously Capitol Records is is uh, on Vine, just north of Hollywood Boulevard. Another one I took a chance on because the label looks so good, and I must have not found anything on it, or I just forgot to look it up. <laughs> I don't know. I probably didn't find anything on it. RCM Records, Dreaming of You, uh, Lewis Sheldon. I think I didn't find any value on that one. I didn't even know what kind of music it was. I think it was country, if I remember right, because of love. I believe this one was a country record, now that I remember. I went through these uh, the last week, and I got them. Um... Let's see, we're going to go, here's one I thought, the, 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 because of the record label, I thought maybe it's like a, a hot rod record, even though it's a, a woman singing. Um, MPH Records, but beautiful. Paula Hill, and the catalog number is, is three sixes, so <laughs> could have been a rock, could have been a hot rod record, I guess, uh, an old man river, and it was kind of like, a, I think it was just like a pop vocally type song, nothing, nothing incredible. Um, all right, we're going to go into the sale I went to on Sunday. This was the second day of the sale. Now, now, usually the first day, at least locally here, a lot of stuff gets picked through record-wise, If especially if they advertise they had records. Uh, sometimes they don't advertise they have records. So the record guys show up, and then if you go, sometimes there's records. Fortunately, I look for other stuff besides records, so that, that helps. Um, it was close enough to my house. I think this was like 15 minutes from my house. I went down there. It was pretty obvious the LPs and the 45s, if there was anything that got picked out. Um, I found two interesting uh, 78s. Uh, so first one, this is from 1929, and this thing looks like it's brand new. It does have a slight warp. It's a 1929 bluegrass record. Uh, I found a sol two sold comps on this one. A low of 25, high of 75. It is... Uh, 
Charlie Bowman's and his brothers uh, gonna raise the ruckus tonight. I mean, this thing, this thing plays super clean too, and both sides are excellent. This is like probably one of my favorite records I've found in a while. To be honest with you. And Roll On Buddy is the uh, B-side on that one on Columbia. And catalog number, if you want to look it up, is 15357 and then D, and then slash D. This one is on uh, YouTube. So someone did post a, post a uh, post it on YouTube. So you can actually look this up on YouTube and, and hear it both sides. And it's a fantastic record. does have some value. That is, I you don't find 78s of that era in that condition ever. Like they're always destroyed. Um, this one sounds like it's it's either barely been played or never been played. Uh, from 52, I took a chance on this one. This is the only two records I bought that at that sale. Uh, Big Family Trouble, Skeets McDonald on Capitol. Apparently, it's pretty common. That's just a fun, like uh, humorous country song about uh, this guy whose wife wants to have a bunch of kids, so they do. Uh, don't let the stars get in your eyes is the uh, b-side on that one So there we go um, Yeah, we're gonna go into the four LPs I bought at the thrift store I like to go to which by the way raised their prices they, So they, they went from 99 cents to a buck 99 now. They're they're other at 299 for records for all it was only 299 for stuff they'd heard of so like it's just cluttered with stuff that no one will ever buy now for two ninety nine, and they haven't really been replenishing much, unfortunately. Uh, we have one that was a return because it's got a notch cut in it. Uh, this one sells, from what I could tell, between ten and twenty bucks from eighty seven. There's a several different pressings of this. I didn't want to get into it. Generally sells for ten to twenty. Uh, Platoon soundtrack, which has music from the movie, uh, like the you know the 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 the, the score. And it also has uh, just different songs from that era. Hello, I Love You by the Doors, White Rabbit, you know, stuff you know. But I imagine it's pretty collectible as a uh, movie collectible for Platoon. Uh, so that was kind of interesting, so I snagged that. Um, this one's from 1978, another one I did not want to look up the pressing on because there's a billion of them. Uh, it has a $3.99 sticker from another store, but I did pay $2.99. It is Warren Zevon, Excitable Boy. Yes, this is the one with the uh, Werewolves of London. I did not have this, and it's it's a really minty cop. The, the record's super mint. Let's see if it comes out or if it... Now we put it in the correct way this time. I'm not going to sit there and fumble with it for half an hour. So I did not have that, so I grabbed it for 3 bucks. Um, another one from 76 Joe Walsh, recorded live, you can't argue with a sick mind. Of course, everyone knows Joe Walsh. I don't have to explain to you who Joe Walsh is. <laughs> one guy, when I was doing the, uh, one of the one of the record videos where I was going through my old part of my collection, some guy's like, wow, you're actually doing stuff I've heard of. Uh, so I think we've all heard of Joe Walsh, but it's a very nice copy. It's got like Rocky Mountain Way and you know stuff you would expect to be on there. Um... There's one from 71. Another one's got a lot of different pressings. At some point, somebody paid $7.98 at another store for this one. Um, 71, kind of a blues rock. You, you know what it is. It's Mountain Flowers of Evil. This old Mississippi Queen. I think that's the one everybody knows by Mountain. It still has the sticker from $7.98 from somewhere else. So that's what I got. Not a whole lot this week. Uh, like I said, there's like three or four sales there's a bunch of sales i'm gonna hit on friday uh including one not far from here uh that says they have records they have a band that's interesting but i really shouldn't buy another vehicle <laughs> if you watch my other channel you'll know i'm like trying to get rid of stuff so i can keep that plymouth i bought at the uh one sale that was supposed to have blues records so kind of weird how that one worked out um so make sure you are subscribed to the channel make sure you like the video if you haven't checked out the louis prima video it is on the channel of the louis prima exhibit in downtown la which is actually going on for another couple more weeks uh and also leave some comments about some of these records maybe some stuff you know you, some tips and tricks you have when you found stuff out in the wild and until next time i'll be seeing you